Oh, your hair is like, oh, thank you. Please, give me conditioner. Look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my little Kenya's complete? Wouldn't you think she's the girl? Girl who has curly hair. <laughs> you want to think I'm a boss? <laughs> To explore those curls up above, out of the sink. <laughs> Wish I could think with lots of curls. <laughs> Ready to be done. <laughs> Did my turn. Look at that. My love. Part of those curls. <laughs> Something's big. Very good, Ari. We have moved the piano. <laughs> Why? Because I cannot practice with them or listen to them when it's all the way downstairs, unless I'm folding clothes or unless, unless I'm doing something. But these guys are always up here making a mess, as you can see. So I'm moving it up so they'll actually practice. Mm, I don't know, right now you need to do your homework. And Trey's doing great. Of course, I'm the whipping post for everything. All moms are. Is this away, please? This time, Trey is having the meltdown. Like I said, it's a different person every time. All the time. He doesn't want it from me, that's for sure. His dinner's right there. <laughs> well, he can, but he's, he's, he's not talking. Okay. I know that I'll get a lot of criticism because people will say I'm exploiting my children and I'm showing them and their hurt, sensitive feelings. And that's fine, people can say that, but this page or this channel has always been the real and raw of motherhood, the good and the bad, the ugly and the bloody, and the hardship and the ease, the comfort and the uncomfortable. So that's just what it is. And he was uncomfortable and I would like personally to document his sensitive feelings so that later we can look back on that and learn from it. And I might have to go out there and console him a bit. He just didn't want to hear from me. I'm sweeping, of course, one-handed, always doing something. It's the first time I've been able to clean all day because of work. And that needs to go in the shed. Out, out. What's wrong?
You guys, we're making some changes. We are gonna paint the walls. Yeah. So what are we doing, Nico? We taking this off? Yeah. We're taking these baby nursery stickers off. Because Nico is what? Why are we taking it off? Are you a big boy? Yes, you I'm are. Strong. You are strong. And he needs a big boy bed, huh? Yeah, that's right. He's got the, the boots and bar coming off in June. And I'm not quite sure what to do. I need your guys' help. I think I'm gonna move Nico. Whoa, hold on. I'm getting the hip of the elephant. Thanks. Um, I think I'm gonna, oh, maybe I'll move make Nico downstairs. He's not quite ready to go downstairs because he's still a little guy. But my thought temporarily is to put India on the top, Kenya right here, Nico on the bottom. And then move Naoma into here because she's climbing out. Yes, she's climbing out and she's also playing with things in there, which gets dangerous when she's when I've got clothes hanging up and she's just very, she's growing, you know? She's not an infant that's just a helpless little blob that's sitting there, laying there. She's starting to, so hard, to get into things. So you in your jammies, Kenya? I know, it's kind of hard. Huh? Okay, go get your jammies on. So, yeah, you guys have a better idea of how I can make this work because Oh, what are you doing? Are you playing with soap? Yeah. Are you washing your hands? Yeah. Okay, let's rinse them. Wednesdays are the worst because rinse them off because nobody goes to bed early. Everybody has either napped and anyway. Sorry, I'm not filming very well, but it's exhausting. Come on. Where are your teeth? <laughs> Naomi, where's your tongue? Naomi, where, where is your nose? Where are your eyelashes? Where are your... Where is your mouth? Trying to change her diaper.